Hello students, let us perform the new experiment. Our today's experiment is basic switch and end device configuration. You will find these three files into the link given in the description. This is a lab manual. This one is your packet tracer file. Double click on the packet tracer file. It will open the three window. Uh, this is your user profile window. Check your user profile. Write down your name. Write down your email ID. And write down some additional information over here. You can write required information in this space. Click on OK. Your profile is set. Now here, uh, this is the diagram and this one is the instruction. Now let's set the diagram and instruction side by side. So you can check the instruction and diagram. Now uh, in your configuration, your diagram and this table might be different. So how it is different? See, you can go to the file and you can reset the activity. As you reset the activity, you can see that, see, now the detail has been changed. This device, uh, name, IP address, all the detail are changed, right? Previously it was different, now the device is different. So whatever the diagram or uh, instruction are given, don't worry about this. Using the same command, you can complete your configuration. You can complete this laboratory. But you need to follow this diagram or whatever the IP address or device name given in your table, you need to provide it. So either you can reset it from here or you can apply the same name which is given to your device. See, now again the device name is changed. See, every time I do reset, the detail is changed. Okay, fine. So don't worry about this device name or the IP addresses. You write down this table in your lab menu. The other important thing is you need to remember this name. You are going to apply the same name to the switch. And uh, these are the password which is given. And you need to apply the same password in the configuration. So now let us apply or complete this requirement. So we will go one by one and then we will complete the activity. The first requirement is use a console cable to access the switch. So here uh, the switch are directly connected with computer. Mostly what we will do, we will click on a switch and then we will uh, click on a CLI and then we configure the switch. So here that is not possible. Here you need to use the console connection. So what is console connection? Just click on this cable icon. This is your console cable. Connect this cable into the computer RS-232 port and switch console port. So now using this computer, using this console connection with the computer, you can access the switch. The same connection I will provide with the reception computer. So in the reception computer, I will make a console connectivity with RS-232 and here in the rooms number 146, I will connect the console connection. So now if I click on a computer, I can go into the desktop. In the desktop, I can directly go into the terminal and these are the basic setting. Keep it as it is. Just click on OK and you can configure the switch from here. See, this is the manager computer and this is the switch. So we will complete all this requirement. Okay. So first requirement is uh, change the room name. So for that, I will write the command enable, then config terminal, and the command is host name. So host name given is uh, room and dash one four five. So that's it. You can see that switch name is changed. Now I will set the password here. The password is given uh, for all the line. The password is X capital A W six K. So first of all, I will set the line console password. So line console zero, then the password password is X capital A W six K. This is your login password. So I will set the login so password console password is set. Now I will set the secret password see secret password so for the privilege mode i will set the secret password so for that command is enable secret uh, six capital e capital b capital u and then p so that is the secret password so that's it now they ask you to set the online password so in online password we will set the line password for vty so i will again go to the config terminal then I will give the command like line vty from 0 to 50 
all BTY will be secured with the password. So that password is again X capital A. That is the login password. So that's it. So I have set the password for all the line and then secret password. Now uh, I need to encrypt all the password. So to encrypt all the password, the command is go to the config terminal and then command is service password encryption. So this line will convert all plain text into the encrypted form. Again, I can check so running configuration here. You can see that the host name is changed. Password is converted into the secret form. Console password is also set. Line VTY password is also set and all password are into the configuration mode. So we have completed the all password requirement. Now I need to set the message of the day. So I will again go to the config terminal and then I will set the banner, banner MOTD and I will set the message like authorized access only. I need to save this configuration. To save this configuration, I will use the command copy running config to startup config. So all the required configuration is saved into the manager computer, manager switch. Room number 145 switch is configured. Now I will set the same instruction for the room number 146. So again I need to use the console connectivity. So I cannot operate through the switch. See, if I click on this, it is said that configuration is locked. I will go to the computer. In computer I will click on the desktop, then terminal and then click OK. Switch number 146. So again I need to just change the name. So I will go to the enable then config terminal and host name host name is room one four and six now i will set the password so for password it is a line console zero and then password password is x a w x a this is a login password now i will set the enable secret password enable secret password is six capital e b u u p now to set another line password again need to go to the config terminal and line vty0 to 50 password password must be same x a w 6 a it is the login password so all password is set now now i need to encrypt all the password for that the command is service password encryption all password are encrypted now need to set the banner message so I will write the banner message. Banner message is authorized this only. Now I will save this configuration by writing the command copy running config to startup config. So both switch are configured for the room 145 and 146. One command is pending that is a configure addressing for all the devices according to the address table. That means we need to give the IP address to all these four devices. So first let us give the IP address to manage a computer, click on this desktop to the IPv4, the manager IP address is from the table 172.6.5.50 and the mask is 255.255.255.0. That's it. Close this window, click on a reception, click on IP configuration, enter the IP address 172.6.5.60. Net mask is 255.255.255.0. Close this dialog. Now to set the IP address for the switch. Again, you can click on a manager computer. First room number 145. Go to the terminal. Click on OK. Let us provide the IP address to switch. For that, we need to go to the interface. You can see in the table the interface type is VLAN 1. So interface VLAN 1 and then IP address. IP address is 172.16.5.35 then space then 255.255.255.0. Give enter then no shutdown which is the most important. Your line is up. Again you need to save all these configurations. So write down the command copy running config to startup config. Click on OK. So room number 145 is OK. 
Now click on the reception computer. Click on a terminal. Click OK and give the IP address to this switch. Then give the IP address. Go to the config terminal. Go to the interface. Interface type is VLAN 1. Give the IP address. As per the table, it is 172.16.5.40. Space 255.255.255.0. The most important is no shutdown. Then save the configuration. Write down the command copy running config to start of config. So all the configuration has been done. This is the basic configuration requirement for switch and end devices. Now we will check the connectivity between the devices. So I will click on a command prompt. I will write the command ping and then I will check the ping to the switch 1.172.16.5.35 So I am getting the reply I will again ping with the 172.60.5.40 So again I am getting the reply with the 40 I will ping with the 60 IP address so I am getting the ping from every devices, each and every devices. So that's it. This is how I have completed all the part. Let us check the result. So in the result, in the assessment item, you can see that our score is a full score. We have done all the configuration, all the tasks. Thank you.